Hey, it's time for another bull call, I guess. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Sorry about that. You'll have to pardon me. I was trying to imitate a more popular booktuber and how his demeanor is. It seems to work for him, so I thought I'd try it out. Anyways, welcome to my first book haul video as a 50-year-old man. That might be too much information, but hello, welcome to the channel. If you've never been here before, I share too much. So, this was a big, big stack. We got a lot to go through, and there's a couple of things I want to get out of the way first. First of all, we'll check in with the Magic Duff Bucket. Magic Duff Bucket has a tantrum when I don't check in with him. So what do you got for me today, Magic Duff Bucket? Uh, Sugarfoot Stout. And you see, I have a tantrum if I don't get my Sugarfoot Stout. So, this is a necessary transaction. Again, if you're new to the channel. It's very necessary. So yeah, I actually went to a new McKay's for this book haul. A brand new one. I've been to the one in Knoxville. I've been to the one in Chattanooga's. So now I went to the one in Nashville's. And uh, you know what? While I'm pouring this bad boy, why don't you go take a ride with me to McKay's? So I guess there's a McKay's in Nashville. I didn't know that, but now I know that. I guess it rains here too. Looks a lot cleaner and fancier. It's got paver stone parking lot. And so you know, it's gonna be a real treat inside. So I'm going to complain about it in there. It was pretty disorganized. The shelves were not in alphabetical order, at least not in any alphabet I'm aware of. And I'm pretty literate in English sometimes. <sighs> I don't know. It was jam-packed, busy. It's just hard to find stuff. You know, you're, you're looking for a certain number of authors and you don't even know if they're under horror or mystery or science fiction even, and it's kind of an up for grab situation. You're just hoping. You go in and you hope. And as it turns out, I'm coming away with some pretty cool things, but it was just luck of the draw. It just happenstance because a book might not be where it should be, where you think it would be. It's just on a shelf somewhere, and if you find it, you're lucky. So how was it? You see anything you want? Uh, probably too late for me to go back there and get it, but uh, there's a lot of cool stuff there. Um, I want that Devolution from Max Brooks, but they got to get right with the price, man. And don't get me wrong, I love World War Z, but uh, oh, and another thing is, I filmed all that stuff, all those Peter Straub books. Um, before he passed away. So when I went to look back at the video, I'm like, what What did I actually film? I was kind of kind of choked up a little bit seeing all that Peter Straub stuff there. So what did you get, Jeff? Well, first off, I got three old school Sarah Pimborough paperbacks. Now, I didn't even realize she did such cool retro horror. So this is called Breeding Ground. Apparently, this is a book where... 
Human females give birth to spiders. That is really nasty. I'm dying to read it because she's a brilliant writer, uh, and I haven't gone back to her older works, so this is a great opportunity. And I gotta say, there's something that really, really gets me right here with these um, pocket-sized paperbacks, with the with these small books, not the trade paperbacks. Uh, something about the experience of reading these little books. You just book. You just read them. You just read them. So I got the Tower, Feeding Ground, and The Reckoning. Or I'm sorry, Breeding Ground. There was a sequel called Feeding Ground, and apparently Thunderstorm Books did uh, Breeding Ground and Feeding Ground in one edition, and I didn't know about it, and so I never got it. So there we are. So I can't wait to read it. The only thing that turns me off a little bit is this blurb. Fans of Bentley Little, Richard Lehman, and Dean Koontz will be pleased. Oh, don't drop a Bentley Little on the cover of a Sarah Pimborough book. Come on. So I'm dying to read these. So they were they were very, very cheap. Paperbacks. And I got another uh, Anya Allborn within these walls. So the last time I got an Anya Allborn book from McKay's in Chattanooga, it was If You See Her, and then Suntop ended up doing an edition of that book. So is this... Uh, foreshadowing an, an event. Now, I have no information. I have no clue if Suntop's even going to do another on y'all born. But uh, that would be wackadoodle if they do within these walls. Um, if you've seen my interview with Anya Allborn, I've had it floating around. It's on the interwebs. It's in the Jeff Word Facebook group and the Suntop Facebook group. She said this is probably her favorite book of hers. So, within these walls. Then the last book I got from McKay's in Nashville was a book I had been looking for forever. I have this book. I've read it. It's my favorite of David Wong's John Dies at the End series. This is uh, this book is full of spiders. Seriously, dude, don't touch it. Um, I, I've read this the trilogy. There's the fourth part's coming out, I think, in October. And loved this one. I thought this was the best of the three. Um that was John Dies at the End, this was part two, and then the third one was What the Hell Did I Just Read? Both are great. All three are awesome. And I believe Midworld Press is doing a limited of this series. So that is something I would recommend if you want to go Jeff your shelf. But this one uh, I've been looking for in hardcover for ages. It's a first printing, first edition the dust jacket has a little tear on it, but you know, whatever, whatever, a little tear. I'll put a little bro dart on there, and you know what? We'll be good as new. Right there, a couple little tears. I don't know, somebody bit it. Arr, arr, arr. But no remainder marks, 1250, hardcover. I was thrilled. Like I said, it's been a long time coming. Then there are a couple of books I got from Centipede Press. Now, normally, a Centipede Press book warrants. An, an unboxing video all its own but there were problems with my copy of powers of darkness and the video the unboxing was less than joyful i have since reached out to jared about uh fixing the the problems with, that i had with the book and let me just say long story short too long didn't read i decided to keep it as it is because the the solution to the problem I, I didn't feel good about. So I kept it and I'm okay with the solution and Jared's offers and I think um, I'm very happy having this book. This is the signed Powers of Darkness. So you can't buy it. I did do an unboxing video but it's gonna be like a lost reel. It's never gonna air. <laughs> there's, there's something for the diehard Jeff heads to be searching for. But also from Jared, I got the Butcher Boy signed first edition. This was G part of the John Palin collection. As you may or may not know, Jared is moving all of John Palin. John Palin passed away, and Jared is helping the family out by selling his, his entire collection, his library. John Palin was a uh, publisher in his own right. I don't remember the name of his press off the top of my head, but he had quite the collection and this was listed on the centipede website i reached out to jared i said oh is that a uk edition and he said yes it was 
Unfortunately, it wasn't a UK edition. I already have a signed US first edition. So I was really jazzed to get the, the UK one. And, um, but I'm a huge fan of this book. And <laughs> you're not going to make me upset about owning an extra signed first edition. Especially for what I paid. It was very reasonable. I also got the final Borderlands slipcase. This is the last slipcase for Series 3. Containing the last five um, books in the set. So this is Series 3, Volume 3. And it completes my Borderlands purchasing for the rest of my days. If you watch this channel regularly and subscribe and get the notifications, then you know Philip Fricassi was the Artist of the Month over at VJ Books, which means they put a number of his titles on sale at half off. And I took that opportunity to round out my Fricassi collection with Saculina. I didn't own it before, so I have a signed edition from Leeds Press of Philip Fricassi's Saculina. Dying to read it seems crazy and then the bad book which is uh an anthology that fracassi's in based on the bible the good book well this is the bad book so uh it's interesting an interesting spin there are some other good authors in here so um john langan among them and uh i'm excited to get it there are other books you have but a few days to take advantage of the fracassi 50 percent off on some incredible titles, and of course, they're all signed. I also got this chapbook, which is a lot bigger than um, I thought it would be. This is big, it's called Harboring Monsters. These, This is artwork based on the monsters in Philip Fricassi stories. So, um, really cool art. Um, some of it is stories from stories I haven't read yet, but you'll have uh, the art here. And then the selection, the, the passage of the book, the fiction it's based on, uh, on the other, other, uh, other facing page. So it's a really cool thing. I'd love to see more of this from, um, from, for other authors. And then at the end, there's an, a brand new essay called There's a Monster at the End of This Essay. <laughs> and uh, <clears throat> it's very cool. If you're a fan of Fricassi and cool art, this is a must own. It's like only $13. Only a few more things, so get a good handful of that mane and ride that horse. I got a care package from Chad Lutsky. This is his new collection called Spinal Remains. And he signed it to me. <laughs> so Jeff, I hope these stories put a smile on your face, a squirm in your gut, but no pain in your nut. You'll see. Chad. Chad Lutsky. Um, so he sent this to me. I was... Thrilled to get it. I'm showing it to you. I did a one-minute unboxing video for it earlier, so you may have already seen it. Chad Lutsky thought I don't like collections. He's like, I'll send it to you, but I know you don't like collections. No, Chad, I just don't really care for anthologies mostly, but I'm open-minded. <laughs> Man, I love a good story, short or long. So Chad Lutsky, get it. Check it out. Spinal Remains. It's not the sequel to Spinal Tap. I already, I already asked him that. And then I got Dark Screams. This is an advanced review copy coming out from Cemetery Dance, maybe in the future. Uh, edited by Brian James Freeman and uh, Richard Chismar. And this copy is signed by Brian James Freeman. And I got it because I am a Patreon supporter of the big BJF. And um, I subscribe at the $10 a month level. And wow, what a great, great value for my money. I swear, I got two chapbooks and this signed arc um, from, from being, being a supporter at that level. It's a no-brainer. The, the chapbooks were um, What's in a Name by Bev Vincent, the Stephen King titles with uh, Francois Villancourt art. And... Uh, you are released by Joe Hill, the story that's in Flight or Fright. And both of those things are worth mad money. And then this is an anthology with some awesome authors in it, signed by Brian James Freeman. Wow, it's a windfall. And I would encourage anybody out there who likes 
great people, great authors, great fiction. Go support Brian James Freeman's Patreon. And Brian James Freeman sent that Patreon perk in a box, a very sturdy box with form-fitted foam. I mean, that's above and beyond, I think. And then finally, like many, 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 many of you out there, I got Stephen King's Fairy Tale. I'm currently reading it, loving it. Um, I'll do a review a little bit later on. Um, if I'm to follow in the footsteps of another booktuber out there, I would talk about how thick the book is and how nice the cover is. Oh, this is gonna take me a long time to read because it's so thick. So this is the U.S. first edition. And then I also got the U.K. independent bookstore edition of Fairy Tales. So this is the U.K. cover. So if you want a side-by-side -side comparison. And the other, the other differences include this really bright blue uh, front and back boards. This quote on the spine. These delicious end papers but one thing i did notice is that the artwork is um much smaller in the uk edition leading to a lower page count in the u.s edition the art is a lot bigger as a refresher that's the uk i think you could still buy the independent bookstore edition from the UK, I don't know how many copies are out there remaining to be scooped up. I got mine from Blackwell's for a very reasonable price, um, ship, shipping included. It was like 25 bucks shipping included from the UK. So that was a sweet deal. So that's my book haul for this month for September. Stick around for more books, more beers, and more blather because those are, those are the things... I excel at excel feel free to share your thoughts to, were there any books at McKay's that I missed out on should I scooped up uh, did I walk by too fast did I not study hard enough and um, go out and have your own adventures I do love these thrift shops I love the used bookstores anyway until next time have a book have a beverage and stay frosty